So, so I think, can everyone please put your cameras on so we have an interactive conversation, please? Thank you. We want to see your faces. Okay. All right. So, so let's, yeah, I think we can start. Some of us, we are cooking, so please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> are we supposed to turn our mics on? Um, yeah, sure. Um, if it gets too staticky, you can mute yourself, but when you're talking, um, obviously you can unmute. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's start. So um, this is just a quick session to get to know ourselves and also so we can explain what we want to do with the Army and then maybe you guys can also tell us what kind of help you need, like what areas you need help in, whether it's like educational or um, professional, how else we can help. We're very new. Okay, so I'm hearing some static. So I'll, if I get some static from you, I will just like mute you if that's fine. So um, yeah, I don't know. Eunice, do you want to start kind of like introducing the army and yourself and then I can jump in when needed and then we can go around and introduce everyone and then we can take it from there. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm sure most of you already know me. I'm the one that talks the most in the group. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm Eunice, um, the team lead of the Rajma <laughs> Army. And um, I'm sure most of you keep on asking what the whole Rajma Army is about. But basically, we are just trying to help like the Gen Z's um, people between the ages of like th between 13 to 25 in any way we can whether it's educationally personally or professionally so um that's a brief summary but then lady will go into more details yeah. and I don't know if you if I don't know if you guys have any personal questions you want to ask me right yeah so okay so let me just give a little quick background about myself so i actually grew up in ghana from like the ages of five from age five to 18 i grew up in ghana and what i noticed and then after that i went to college in new york and then i also um continued on to college in japan but what i noticed is that when i was in school in ghana there are things called soft skills that are very important, but they don't focus on them in Ghana at all. So for example, like presentation skills or just public speaking or even time management, being on time, you don't really focus on those things in Ghana and it really affects you. Like, you know, like it affects you in Ghana, but definitely when you go out. So I noticed that when I went to New York at first, that the work like college was so easy to me because school in Ghana is so good, like the education is so good. So, so college was easy to me. Like the math was math that I did in JSS or JHS, how you say it now. Like everything with the English was just so simple. But to go up in front of a class to present. I couldn't do it. Like I was just so nervous. And that is because we just weren't really trained in Ghana. So it's those kinds of little skills that we want to kind of, I mean, that's not the only thing, obviously, but it's like, those are the things that we kind of want to help. And there's a, there's a thing with um, Ghanaians. I mean, I can speak on this because I'm also from Ghana, but um, there's a thing with Ghanaians that unlike even Nigerians, we're not as bold. And I don't know if any of you were on the first um, Zoom that we had with all the advisors. And that's one thing that one of the advisors said. He said that, cause like we had all the advisors like from, that had been to like NYU, um, 
UCLA, Stanford, you know, that have worked at Goldman Sachs, Google, all those people were on the Zoom. And at the end, we were asking the members to, to interact and everybody was just sitting down quiet. Like nobody was asking questions or even like contributing anything. And one of our advisors, Terry said, if this was a call with Nigerians, it would be so interactive. So for some reason, Ghanaians also are very timid. And I'm from Ghana and I know compared with like to my Nigerian friends, I'm definitely more timid. We have to stop that. We can't do that anymore. 2021, no more Ghanaians are timid. We have to break that cycle. So those are like little skills here and there. Obviously we like to have fun. We do like fun stuff on our Instagram. You know, we'll be having parties and stuff when COVID ends and all those things. But there are also skills that we think are really important that we want to help you guys as much as possible. So in summary, that's kind of what we want to do. Obviously, that's not all we want to do. We have serious plans for 2021, but we just wanted to get to know you guys and let you guys get to know us a little bit more. So yeah, I don't know if anyone has any questions or anything. Yeah. Let's keep this interactive. So, okay. Do I have to introduce myself first, or? I can't. Yeah, yeah. Not... yeah. can if he should introduce himself first. Yeah, yeah, sure. Before you ask your question, introduce yourself. And Eunice, can you note the people that are talking? Because okay. like in the emails, work, you're going to get points for, let me just go over that quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to start giving points for people that are, like, if you have your camera on, you get if you like to talk and you're interactive, you get points. What the points mean, um, what the points mean is like when we have scholarships or internships or mentorship opportunity or um, giveaways, if you have a certain number of points, you're eligible. If you don't have those certain number of points, you don't even, you can't even apply. So that's what we're, we're doing. So we just want you to be really interactive. Yeah. Okay, so whoever wanted to talk, you can go ahead. Okay, can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah okay. My name is my name is Nana Okoku Ajima. Okay. Um, if you would know, I was on the I was in the round one team for the oh, um, yeah, talent contest. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. You you're the artist, right? Yeah. You're, you're the artist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, hello. Can you guys hear me well? Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. So I just had a few questions before I put I just had a had a few questions. Was um, during your talk you were mentioning um, like uh, sorry, Ghanaians like some um, Ghanaians are not really trained when it comes to. Um, public speaking or like yeah you mentioned something uh, about timidness um yeah. you just have a few restrictions and i i think um the reason why I maybe i wasn't at the last meeting but the reason why I, I believe maybe the reason why we were not able to i don't know if that, that was the first meeting but maybe it could be because of zoom because um sometimes people are not able to communicate well when it comes to like virtual communication because it's new to them and then um Maybe it's something they will, they will, they will not get along to, like, as time moves on, because uh, maybe that was their first time or something like that. That was why maybe things like that happened. And um, just a few things I'll ask um, about the group, the, um, the WhatsApp group. Um, in order to also uh, get us more interactive and get people talking when we come on um, Zoom meetings, Maybe there could be some discussion that could happen in the group. Basically, it doesn't have to be everybody, everybody waits or to um, have a Zoom meeting like this before people can ask their questions. Sometimes they put them, they put them in a different position because you don't know what you're, like you don't know the question to even ask because there is no like, there's, there's not been like recurrent discussions or anything. So right. I would just suggest that maybe there should be some like interactive discussions that would be like, online like on whatsapp and people can share their ideas and share their thoughts um yeah pardon me if i'm repeating something um because i just joined i joined like one month ago no so maybe yeah, yeah so 
this is what I, I, I okay. see. Cool. Okay, so let me just go back to the Zoom stuff. First of all, it was not the Zoom. <laughs> that was not the reason. Um, people are just like um, quiet. Um, we, we noticed that like people, that wasn't the first Zoom that we had. That was maybe the third or the fourth and um, interaction was very low. And I get it, like it's not a very convenient situation to, um, to speak on. Obviously COVID has brought new ways of life. Like we have to do things that we never thought we would be doing. So I get it, it's not comfortable. I don't like it at all. But I think the whole point of the army is that throw any kind of rules or throw any kind of uncomfortability away you know like that's what i'm really trying to push because i'm i'm older than all of you guys right like eunice is your same age group but i'm like way older than you guys and even though i don't know all and i don't claim to know all one thing that i can let you know for sure is that even the most successful or the biggest or the whatever you know people that you know or you see out there like nobody has the answers. Like we literally, we don't have the answers to anything. Like we're just living life, trying to figure it out as we go, literally. Like no one has figured anything out. We all don't know what we're doing, right? So who cares? Like if you come on Zoom and then you say something and you make a fool out of yourself or you're uncomfortable or you stutter or your voice isn't nice or you make a mistake when you talk, and like, so who cares? Like we're all uncomfortable that it is like, you know, like we're just trying to make ourselves better. So if you can, um, if you're here and you're feeling some kind of way that I'm new to this, it's so many people on there, um, just, just talk, that's what I feel. The second thing that you said about um, the WhatsApp group, I have to agree, I'm not in the WhatsApp group, but if you go on the group and you feel like you want to discuss something, just start a conversation. And so that's why I was even coming to yeah, There are times where conversations are, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't think I've really seen you participate in the conversation. But there are times where the people that usually talk on the group are, I can mention, I don't want to mention it, but I can mention like people who always start conversations when put, things are put up. Even when it came to the talent, um, um, someone had to start a whole conversation before you guys had to now come and say, oh, you guys should go and comment. Someone had to push it to start because like you'd have been quiet about it. So that's what I'm saying that it's, I think it's more or less like you're always waiting for someone to start, but right. then there are always people who start, but then there are some people where also they don't like it when the group gets too noisy because then it becomes too many notifications. And I remember that was recently, was it just last week? Okay. Yeah. So was complaining because people were just sending emojis and yeah. memes and these yeah. things and then it became so many notifications so someone complained about if it gets to that point then you just have to minimize it but then when it comes to art where like things like maybe when we have a zoom call there are always times where we always start like a mini conversation on the whatsapp group before the actual um, yeah and i and then that's a good point eunice thanks for saying that so definitely let's keep um the whatsapp group very interactive with you know topics that actually make sense don't let it be like another group that you're just saying, sending memes and prayers and exactly. you know otherwise like it has to have a little bit of substance to it but that's something we have in the works for 2021 we're going to streamline the communication um, service a little bit better. We're still very brand new. We actually just got registered as an official company in Ghana last week. So we're still new, but yeah, we're figuring everything out. Um, okay, so is, does anybody else want to talk, introduce yourself or say something? And can you please put your camera on if you can? No, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um. Hi, my name is Abdul Fatah. Oh, hi. I please I can't hear you well. No, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. 
Please, um, I joined in late, but I assume you are talking about how to make the like Zoom sessions um like to make it like more of talking, like we could talk much, right? Yeah. So that was one of the topics. So what we were saying is we kind of like introduced what the army was about, what we want to do, and then if anybody had any contributions or questions, you can go ahead and ask. If okay. you want to about the Zoom, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so you can go ahead. Okay, so I just wanted to suggest that um, sometimes that um, most of the Zoom meetings I've attended, like um, before any before the um, conversation begins, they normally bring um, they, they normally start with icebreakers to make everyone like everyone in the room at least everyone talk so like they'll feel relieved that something like that it makes me relieved and like makes me want to talk more right. because I've started yeah something like that icebreakers like just to that's a good idea. That's a good idea, but I also I want to let you guys know that in the real world, when you're doing a proper meeting on Zoom, we don't have time for icebreakers. I get what you're saying that for us, like just talking to each other, we want to warm people up, and this is the way that we're preparing you guys for the real world. So it's a great idea, but in the real world, because eventually we'll be sending you guys out to like for internships and stuff. So we're working with a few companies. And actually, I think in January, we have a Zoom with a, a headhunter. So she she works with Empower. That is Mr. Easy's company. She works with like different companies. And she's going to tell you like what positions and jobs she may have available for you guys. So if you're doing a Zoom meeting, I can promise you that the, in, in, the person interviewing you is not going to ask you for an icebreaker. But... I get what you're saying. It makes sense to get people more comfortable. So we can we can do that too. And also sometimes if it's a it's, it's a large group, we can't really do that because then by the time we get through everyone, the hour will be up. You know, so but I like that suggestion. Um, does anyone have anything else to say? And by the way, congratulations, right? Because you're one of the scholarship recipients. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to. Yeah, but. I think your course starts in, I think she said early next year. So we will confirm. I think it's either February or something, but we'll let you know when yours is starting. Rashida already right. finished hers. So yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, anyone else? Sorry? Can we know ourselves? Our names. Um, yeah, can you, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, I'm, I'm Vanessa Santi. Okay. Did you have anything you wanted to share? I just want, no, nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Then, so, Vanessa, you can tell. I have something to share. Um, Okay. Um, who wants to go next? Hello. Yes. Hi, Amy. Um, okay, I think the reason why people are not comfortable with interacting on the Zoom page is because they've never actually seen each other before. Yeah. And I think people are more shy a bit. So in a way, that's what is interfering with how we are socializing on here. That makes sense. I, I get that. And then I think um, going for, because I, like I said earlier, it's, it's uncomfortable, right? Like everything about 2020, everything about 2020 so far has been uncomfortable. This isn't our ideal situation. If we had our way, we would be in a hall somewhere or interacting with each other, right? But obviously we can't do that because of the situations that 2020 and COVID and everything has done. But I don't think we should, like all of us, should allow situ situations that are uncomfortable or unfavorable to be at a disadvantage to us. Because, for example, um, what's the name, Eunice, what's the name of that guy that used to be so active in the beginning? I think now he's in school. 
Malice. Malice, right. Okay, so when we started the Army, like brand new, we had this member, Malice, and it was still, it's this year, COVID times. Okay. But after like a month, I knew Malice. So almost every opportunity that came, I wanted to call on Malice, like whether he was even eligible for that or not. And that's how you become memorable, right? So we're all uncomfortable. Nobody wants to do this. But then if you just keep using like having excuses, you're going to miss out on opportunities. That's just how life is. Like nothing worth having is comfortable. If that was the case, we'll just sleep in bed and get paid. You know, it's uncomfortable. That's just what life is. I get it. I, I get it. I'm the most anti-social person here. I, you know, it's uncomfortable. But it's like sometimes you just have to do things because right now, just based on this call, if let's say tomorrow, I got a call from someone and they're like, Lady May, um, you want five of your army members to go to the UK to do a pro project, blah, blah, blah. Who can you call? Already, I know, okay, I know Poku, I know Masood, I know Vanessa, like it's, you know, even though it's, it's that's just how human, like it works, right? You have to be memorable. And everybody, I bet you a hundred dollars that even though you are uncomfortable, I mean, all the people are uncomfortable, they still spoke. So what is the difference between you and other people? I know it sounds harsh and tough, but we just literally want the best. That's true. But um, just try. Try a little bit and be a little bit uncomfortable because it will pay off in the end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does anyone? Hello? Yeah. Some people Hello? don't know how to update their Zoom. Like their mics are off yeah. and they keep saying. I see a lot of people are complaining that they can't um, hear. It has, your audio has to be on. Even if your mics are off, you can still hear. Hello? Yes. Yes. I hear someone saying hello. Who is that? Mary. Yeah, um, I'm okay. Mary. Mary now, Corti. Okay, hi, Mary. What's going on? Um. Okay, so I missed the the session last. I think it was last week. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, I missed the session last week, and I I don't really know what went on, and I'm hearing that there is a WhatsApp group. I don't know if it's because I missed the session. So, if I could I could be added to it, I'll be very happy. Yeah. And I just want to introduce myself. Oh, okay. So, nice to meet you. so I think Eunice will be able to add you to the WhatsApp group after this. Um, yes, we did have a session last week with the council Katrina. It do say normally we put all of our sessions on our YouTube page because everything is recorded. But because that was counseling, talking about people's mental health, we had people share personal information, personal things that they're going through. So we won't be sharing that one on our YouTube page. But normally all our sessions go up on our YouTube page. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Mary, by the way, have you received an email? Have you received an email from Eunice? Yes. All emails have been. Before, the, before this session. Oh, okay. So then she just received this one. I too. received an email for this session. Okay, so Eunice... No, no, I'm talking about with regards to um, a welcome message. I don't, all e I don't think so because if the list was... Yes, please, I did. Oh, you did? Did you get the welcome message? Yeah, I did. Okay, the WhatsApp link should be in there. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. All Hello, right. good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I'm Matthew. I think I, I joined very late. And that's another punctuality. Something very 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I went to the shop. I just closed and I oh. passed my shop to Shreman. I oh. just go home. It's like anything else was going on. Okay, do you have something you want to share? Oh, not really. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, someone is very noisy. Can you, yeah. if you're not talking, can you mute yourself so that we don't hear everything? Hello. Yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Jesse Pakadonko. I joined recently and I just wanted to introduce myself. Hi, Jesse. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Is there anything in particular that you think you will need assistance with, with regards to the army? Like, do you, do you need assistance academically? Do you need assistance professionally? Are you trying to find an internship or a job? What's going on? Oh, I'm trying to find a job. Okay. So um, we have a session, I think, in about two weeks with a headhunter. So she'll give you all the tips you need and if she has any available positions are you in accra yes i am okay cool all right so stay tuned i think we'll share that sometime. hi okay thank you you're welcome hi hi yeah Hello? good evening good evening hello please i'm mela from hi, mela. accra ghana yeah, it's Mary again. And wait, um, wait, sorry, Mary. Someone is speaking. Um, Mela. Yeah. Okay. I'm Mela from Akagan. Okay. Do you want? Do I you joined them. Um, I think a week or. I just I just joined the okay. Zoom sure. meeting. Okay. I didn't hear anything. Uh, I would like you to just um maybe go to uh, say it again whatever you guys no we can't doing, really go back just... and say it we're already 30 minutes in we can't really repeat everything that we said that's why we really harp on punctuality it's very important to be on time we really can't go back and say any everything that we said but um if you want to introduce yourself and say if you need any support in any particular area of your life you can share that Okay, for now, I am an actress, and okay. right now, I want to open up my hair business. Like, I will need a little support with the, the hair, the importation, and everything. That's what I want to do. Okay, cool. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Hello, I'm back again. I, I, I want to know yes. about the intention. How, how, how am I going to do it? I'll get back in. I'll get back in. I can't I'm currently you. level 200. Yeah, I said about the intention. In case I want to apply for the intention, yeah. how do I go by? Yeah, we don't have any currently within the army in particular, but I want to be part of a new company that would be offering internships. So when those come out, we will send those through. But like I mentioned, in about two weeks, we have a Zoom session with a headhunter, the recruiter for different companies in Ghana. So she will tell you how to get jobs, how to um, have your resume, what to say on your interviews, and she will also share a few positions that she has available. So stay tuned for that. And please, on that call, you guys should be interactive so that she remembers you. Okay, okay so I'd like to introduce something in her last Okay, thing. okay. Okay. Wait, sorry. sorry, is someone talking? Is it possible, like, the mic yeah, is muted nice. by the host so that, like, yeah, people can really hear what people say? Wait, I can't hear. I think there are so many people talking at once. I can't hear what. Yeah, I was talking. saying that if it's possible for the host to mute everyone, then the person who is supposed to talk can, like, unmute him or herself because, like, there are different noises from the background. Yeah. Okay, so Fosia, I see Fosia, Anita, and Blessing want to talk. So, um, Fosia, can you go first? You can unmute yourself. 
Hi, good evening. Good evening, hey. I'm Gifty for This okay. is my first time. So. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, you just wanted to introduce yourself, or do you want to share something about yourself? Let me introduce myself, that's all. Okay, are you in Accra? Oh, yes, please, I'm in Accra. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice right. to meet you. I see Anita. We have Anita. Do you want to unmute yourself? Yeah, hello. Hi. Anita. Hi. Can you hear me, please? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm Anita. I, I discovered this page through um, Sandra and Kobia. Mm -hmm. And I joined this page. Like, I don't know, maybe this is the second or third time I have been in this Zoom session. Okay. That's all I can say. And although you, I'm looking for a job too. Were you in the session with Katrina? Yes. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, yeah. So it seems a lot of people are looking for jobs. on next Zoom is going to be very interesting. All right, I'm muting you now because it seems a little noisy over there. All right, so we have Irabna. You can go next, Irabna. Hello. Hi. Irabna, can you put your camera on or you're not available? Um, I'm, I'm eating, so okay. it'll be right. <laughs> a bit weird. That's fine. Sorry. Hi, I'm Tracy, but I'm usually called Irabna. Oh, okay. I'm a graduate of the University of Ghana. Okay. And currently, I'm um, a teaching assistant at the okay. Spanish department. Okay. When did yes. you graduate? Sorry? When did you graduate? I graduated this year, and I, I had a first class, so yeah, oh, hey for me. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. So as I said, I read political science and Spanish. Okay. And yes, I've had a lot of years speaking the language because it's nice. And I saw this um, great, is it a group? I can say it's an organization yeah, yeah. on like Instagram mm -hmm. from a lot of people. I think from Sandra Kobia, from Dance God Lloyd, and right. then I sent an application to join this group. Right. And I like the vision of it. So hopefully I'll gain a lot from it and contribute as much as I can to it too. Yeah. So thanks between everybody here. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. And and that's a, an interesting combination, Spanish and political science. So are you working now? Yes, I'm doing my national service. Oh, wow. And do you go into the office or do you work remotely? It's, it's both. Sometimes if I have to go to the office, I do. And if I have to do it online, I do that. So we're just combining the two. By the moment, you're not doing anything because school hasn't officially resumed. So hopefully 2021, we will be working. Right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. Thank you, too. All right. So we have Hilda. Hilda, do you want to go? Um, Hilda. Hi, we, can I go? Um, is that Hilda? No, this is Benis. Okay, yeah, sure. Benis, you can go. Okay, I'm Nessa Santi, and I just wanted to see myself. Um, I'm about to enter the university oh. to read um, nursing. Oh, wow. That's great. And what so, secondary school were you in? I was in Benkum Senior High. Oh, okay. And then, and what university are you going to go to? University. Sorry, can you repeat that? Oh, I think, I think she said University of Cape Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. Well, I think she froze. So does anyone want to go? Hilda, I see your hand is still up. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Hilda. Yeah, I'm Hilda and I'm speaking from Tamale. Oh, nice. Yay. That's cool. Someone outside of Kra. Um, I I want to find out mm -hmm. whether um seminars and programs would be organized 
so yeah. that maybe we meet as as a team yeah then. for sure i mean that's why we're zo doing zoom because i don't know if you guys still know because Ghanaians are acting like they've forgotten but COVID is still out there so we're definitely not doing any kind of gathering in person at all i was telling eunice earlier that today i had a carpenter come over and he wasn't wearing a face mask and i was like what's going on where's your face mask and he's like oh COVID doesn't exist and i was like um i'm pretty sure rawlings just passed away from COVID." and he's like no that's not what happened i was like you know what i'm not gonna argue with you it's cool you can go so yeah i'm not playing with COVID at all and i don't think any of you guys should so as much as we want to organize seminars and stuff like that we really have to be very careful because i don't think anything is worth anyone's life and it's very important and people are actually losing their lives so yeah we're not playing those games but definitely in 2021 we have a bunch of stuff planned out like a bunch um and eunice will be sharing that with you i know many of you graduated um this year but unfortunately weren't even able to have graduation parties and stuff like that so hopefully sometime next summer we can do like a party for all of you that graduated call university so we'll be planning that out but we just need covid to go away so yeah yes um so we have a corner beer yeah. i'm back wait who's who's back Wait, you need to raise your hand so we can see. You can raise your hand um, through Zoom. Hello. Yes. Hi. 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 My name is Akunovia. Um, Sarah, but I, I prefer Akunovia. Yes. So um, I was active at the very beginning, but I had um, exam to write. So I went off for some time. Right. So, yeah, I just came to reintroduce myself. I remember you, and you actually wrote for us for the newsletter. Yes, yes, please. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, so, we have... Okay, Nano Poku, do you want to go? Yeah, so I just wanted to ask a question. Um, yeah. um, I, saw, I saw in the email that there will be some point of discussion. So, I wanted to know if there's, uh, like... If the point of discussion from your side um, would be made, like aside everyone introducing themselves and then um, asking questions, do you guys have like the point of discussion that you guys will be communicating to us? Like, I mean, for now, um, a major part of wait, sorry, is somebody else speaking? Um, a major part of this call was to get to know everyone. In the beginning, people were kind of quiet. Everyone seems interactive right now. So I kind, this is the most interactive Zoom that we've had ever since we started the Raja Army. So I kind of want to go continue what we're doing since we have so many people's hands up. And then we can go a little bit into also what we would want to discuss. So um, Kelvin, do you want to go? I'd like to. Yes. So um, I think earlier you made mention about um, guardians being shy. Yes. And I'd say it's something that really started like way back. Yeah. In our basic levels of education. Mm -hmm. because, um, I feel education system was structured in such a way that um, being like, um, how do I say it? How do I um confident wasn't really yeah. a thing because um I, I, can't, was like, I can't nod my head enough like everything that you're saying is so true but go ahead yeah. um it, it felt it felt like we're being fed like they didn't really allow us to express ourselves at the basic level where we could like um Interest like talk. Each other. like yeah ex exactly like you couldn't really do that because it, it even got to, it got to a point where everyone was against you if you tried to come out mm -hmm. you know, like or to say something like like oh sir i have a question and everyone will be looking at you like um why why do you have a question in the first place like don't you understand what's going on like something like that so 
I feel it started way back because I started this whole interactive thing in the university, right? I think I'm in second year chemistry. Mm-hmm. And I feel that's why I started being interactive or opening up or actively participating in yeah. um, social whatsoever it is like. It's so, everything you said is so true. And like I mentioned earlier, I actually went to school in Ghana. So everything that you're saying is 100%. It's almost like if you were confident, you were seen as being cocky and disrespectful. Exactly. You were actually, like, if you were shy, that means, oh, you respect, you're a good boy or you're a good girl. And, And that really harms you. Let me tell you this quick story. One of my brothers told me this. I don't know if it was a direct thing or, but the thing is, do you guys, I know you guys are pretty young, but do you remember Kamla Dumont? Yeah. Yeah. So he, yeah. yeah so he used to work with um, Joy FM. Then he went to BBC and he was like one of, yeah, the, one of those Ghanaians that you like, you're just proud that he's from Ghana. So apparently he went to this conference somewhere and he was introducing himself and he's like, yeah, I'm from Ghana and stuff like that. And everybody's like, wait, you're from Ghana? we always thought you were from Nigeria. And he's like, why? And they're like, because of how bold you are and confident you are. And I'm like, come on. If we, like everyone knows that Ghanaians are so smart. Like everywhere we go, we're the smartest. We're always top of our class. So, but then if you're top of your class, if you have all this knowledge in you, but you don't have the confidence or the boldness to go out and say, then what's the point? It's like, it just stays in your head. And then you go and write your paper and then you get an A. And then that's it. Like, that's one of the things. But you're so right. It's the way that we were raised and brought up. So that's like the unlearning that even though we're not at school, we just want to really urge. Because even me, like, I'm still suffering with it today. Like, if ask Eunice, Eunice will tell you when I have to go and talk somewhere and stuff like that. Even when I say I'm going to talk somewhere, somewhere, Eunice is like, hey, really? Like, because I just don't like it. But sometimes it's like I said earlier, you have to get out of your comfort zone and do things that make you uncomfortable because that's the mm. only way you break your mold. All right. So um, I see a lot of hands up. Um, Lil- Lilianne, do you want to go? Yeah. Good evening. My name is Lilianne of I'm from Ghana. I mean, I'm at Ghana. Okay. Hey, what am I saying? Sorry. Oh, I'm right. at Accra. Okay. And I completed University of Ghana last year. I've done my service too. And I'm hoping to get a scholarship opportunity to study my master's. And oh. I hope this um, what, organization will be. What, what, what was your major? Um, I. I did a combined major, English and political science. Okay. Yes. So, and I'm hoping to do a master's in um, any field, basically um, um, in poverty related courses. Okay. So, I'm hoping this. Yeah. In poverty, poverty related courses, like, okay. yes. Okay. So, I, I hope this um, organization will be of a great help to me and I can also contribute because I did English. I hope I can help with some write-ups okay, and we'll see how it goes. So, let so me tell thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you. So let me just give you guys a rundown of like how our scholarships and stuff work. So um, recently Masood and Rashida got a scholarship from us for a course at um, Stronko Academy. So they were able to take a, well, Masood's scholarship starts early next year, but Rashida was able to do a, I think it was coding, presentation, entrepreneurship, and something else I've forgotten. So we're going to be partner with, partnering with different organizations or companies like that to give scholarships. And we actually have one organization in the UK that has reached out to us to suggest some people for scholarship, but we're not sharing that information yet. We're going to use those points, 
like the points that we mentioned earlier based on your participation and everything else to determine who would even send out those that information to because it's so niche and it's so brand new it's a new partner that we're working with um but also what is really good is if you're applying to schools like whether it's like for a bachelor's degree or for a master's or for whatever this organization or this company will be very helpful because um you can put this on your what is it is it your um like you can add this to your transcripts like the different activities that you did and i wouldn't mind writing letters of recommendations if i know you're someone that i can vouch for so if i haven't met you before i haven't spoken to you before please don't send me a message and be like lady may can you write me a letter of recommendation because what am i going to write but you have to prove yourself to us that okay if we do vouch for you somewhere it won't be an embarrassment to us you know what i mean so they're doing this because of the Rajra army so we have to also um keep our image up so yeah um does anybody have anything else by the way eunice anytime during this time if you want to say something feel free to okay yeah um please can i say something yes no. um please how are the points given okay Did you write a name yeah so we were tracking it right now um yep based on your activity level it's a new thing that we're starting so it will be um based on your activity level on our zoom calls um the different things that we do on social media um like your contribution to the different things that we do like our newsletters and and all that stuff you'll get a like a more detailed write-up about that but pretty much being active is you just need to see you we just need to know who you are so that we can actually vouch for you guys um does anybody else have anything yeah i think yeah, i got something to say oh you just shoot uh, hello yes dance right yeah you can go ahead hello yes you can speak can you hear me yes can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, good evening. Hi, good evening. My name is Danso Foster. Hi, Danso. Uh, currently, I'm in Kumasi. Oh, hi. That's where my mom is from. Okay, I saw a video. Mm -hmm. Please, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. You can go ahead. Hello? Yeah, you can go ahead. We can hear you. Okay. I saw Kwame Eugene. Uh, I saw a video of Kwame Eugene and I decided to join this platform. Oh, thank you. Currently, uh, I completed uh, Master Tenka University. I did entrepreneurship and finance. Oh, nice. So I'm done with my service. I'm hoping to get a job. Okay. I'm wondering if you can help me. Yeah. Get a job. Yeah. So, like we mentioned, um, in about two weeks, I think it's January. What's the date? Is I don't know, oh. or something. We have a session I'm with. Check a second. Yeah, we have a session with Maureen, who is a headhunter that helps people get jo get jobs. So, um, you can ask her all the questions you have during that Zoom. We will send the information soon. So you can mark your calendar. Um, um, Lady May, I have something to say. Hello? It's a lot of, wait, okay, I'm muting everybody now so that. Okay. So whoever was just speaking, can you unmute yourself, please? Okay, um, Lady May. Yes. Um, I have a contribution. Um, yes. The first one is I would advise everyone to get acquainted with Zoom because <laughs> it looks like some people don't know how to navigate it. Right. So it's interfering with the smooth operation of participation and then yeah. like 
the smooth operation of the group actually. All right. And then I have I have another question. Mm -hmm. Um, the first one. Um, okay. I was just to ask about you guys are helping us in a good way with scholarships, internship. So I I wanted to know what you require of us aside participating. Do you want us to pay some dues or something, or it's just free? Yeah, so it's free. It's it's free. Membership is free for now. So you and you guys um are the first members. So you you guys are good. Down the line, eventually, we haven't figured out anything yet. We're going to be offering different kinds of seminars and one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So like you saw, you know, we have a good relationship with Lynx. So that is Kwame Eugen, Kitty, Richie. We have a good relationship with Sandra Nkobia, with Brella Mundi, with Dan Scott Lloyd. So it, in the future, we're going to be working out different things where you may have to pay something, but it's not compulsory if you want to to have maybe some time with them or whatever, whatever. That is not coming now. That's probably going to be like sometime um, mid-2021. We will send that information. But till then, you guys should just enjoy the benefits. That's why it's very painful when we get like all our advisors that have so much knowledge and you know, they're all willing to share everything and we're all giving all these opportunities and people don't participate because if I had these opportunities when I was in school, I would be so much better, even though like I'm not doing bad, but I would be in a better situation. So that's so just milk it and let your friends know that this is there because we're just getting started. It's brand new. We're like seven months old and we just literally got registered last week so we're a brand new company yeah um, thank you uh -huh. Hello? yeah Hello? yeah um so just wanted to say something um i wanted to know like i've been working on an art project with um a group of um uh, beneficiaries from a different organization um from where and i wanted from a different organization. It's like okay. when I was a, uh, yeah, it's called Dunk Grassroots. It's okay. a basketball organization that uses basketball as a tool to create safe space oh, for, cool. for at risk children and women to play, learn, and grow. So I've been with this organization like when I was in junior high and mm -hmm. like um, after high school, like last few years, I started an art project and then just to give back to the community on art with my friend. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we work on a lot, lot of things and like a pilot project and we have an art studio and it's just giving back to the community on art and what we thought we've learned. Um, currently, I'm in NAPTI studying digital art and design. Oh, that's but I'm, I'm still, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm still working on the project and I wanted to know if um, like with projects like mine, like if anybody's working on the project, like how I'm working on the art project, is it like, are there like, um, any uh wanted to know if they had the opportunities that that links like people who are working on projects to um gain grants to still continue the project or like you know get support and links to um to let the project keep running even though it's, it's their own project but it's an different organization yeah so right now um we're not giving out grants or in this independent sponsorships like that but we do have um there's actually a project in mind that i have for you when i saw your artwork but i don't know we'll, we can discuss that a little bit later but um i would like to get to know a little bit more maybe you can send eunice some more information and then i can look over your stuff and see what you're actually talking about but um so our parent company is the Rajra company and we do business in Ghana in New York and in Japan and Japan um some of my clients are like anime clients so that's like an avenue we're yet to tap into those clients to see how we can work with them with the army but um that's something that we can look into so yeah Okay. Yeah. All right. Can I say something? Um, yes, please. You can. Mary. 
Okay, so I wanted to say, yeah, I wanted to say that currently I'm in UPSA. I'm studying um, accounting and finance. Okay. I'm in level 200 at the moment. Okay. And also I have passion in fashion. Like I love fashion and I, I can draw my own designs and sew them myself. And I wanted to ask if I love fashion, I love modeling. I love photography, like everything about fashion. I just love it. And I wanted to ask if like I can get an opportunity to, if maybe not for the accounting and finance I'm studying, at least for the fashion, is there any like opportunity for me to feather it or something like that? Um, I yeah. think if it's a business, then you would have to go through it like the the actual business channel, right? So if it's something that it's a business that you want to do in fashion, then you would have to go through either creating a business plan, making some samples from scratch. Mm -hmm. So we actually know that you're, you're good at what you say you're good at. And then we can take it from there. But, you know, like one thing that I also kind of want to let you guys know, and this is not towards Mary, like just general, like you, you, you made me remember, but it's not because you said something is, we're also not here to kind of give everyone handouts. You know, it's like we do give giveaways. Like for example, we have the Christmas giveaway that is actually, wait, you know, the deadline is on the 23rd. It's like in two days where we're telling people to submit. Um, we're gonna give up to thousand CDs. So you submit somebody that you want to give that money to, and then we will give that, like we have those kinds of giveaways, but we're also not in the business that is like, you just like you we're, we're just not going to just give out stuff you know like we actually want to build you guys up so that if you are in a room with investors or with whatever people from somewhere that have the opportunity to give you guys opportunities you are good you know what to say you know what to do you're confident you don't feel like you don't belong that's the main goal so we will help you. We will tell you, you know, how to go about it. You know, we'll help you with your business plan. We'll help you in the direction, but we're not just handing out money. Like I wish, <laughs> I wish we were, but we're being a little bit real. So that's like, just to give you that. So that's why even like we're doing like scholarships and stuff with Shroko Academy and things. We want you guys to, to, to have tools to help you in this, world yeah anybody else uh, lady may sorry uh um gifty i see your hand is up do you have something to say hi hi yeah i see your hand is up do you have something to say yes i have something to say but sorry for the noise yeah, because I'm outside right now and I'm joining. Okay, so I've been listening for a while now. I'm Gifty Adjaman. Okay. I'm going to level 400, um, studying Bachelor of Fine Arts. That's theater arts. I'm majoring in theater arts. Okay. And um, hello, please, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, so I've been listening and I think... Somebody made a suggestion. I don't know if it was a suggestion or something, but it looks like everyone here wants a job and everything. And I don't know what to say. If mine is also a suggestion or something, but um, please, I think um, with regards to giving people jobs and everything, I think um, the world is um, moving ahead or taking turns right now. And I think if um, some people want to work on their own and others want to join companies and everything, I believe you have a lot of um, opportunities in stock for everyone. But I said, I don't know. I, I can't really tell what you have now. But I suggest that um, when everything goes down like the corona goes down a bit and everything and restrictions i know restrictions have been eased a bit but still the thing is still there so i think we can organize probably a workshop or something 
you see, I, I believe some people, other, other people have um, um, things they are good at here. Yeah, some people are good at makeups and other people have bridal hair styling. Um, 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 I don't know how to put it, but other people are good in those things. So I think it would be good if that is also introduced because I don't think you can put everybody in a company or something. Um, that is all I have to say for now. All right, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. I don't know if you heard earlier on, but, um, and you also kind of harped on it, but because COVID is out there, we're not really organizing any um, meetups or anything like that of any sort, you know, whether it's for talent, whether it's for creative recruitment or anything, we're not doing any physical stuff at all. But what we can do on Zoom we try to do, and that's why we're doing in January, first week in January, we're doing the session with Maureen, who is going to be helping with recruitment. With other stuff, it's hard to do. But for example, on Instagram Live, like a little bit ago, we had um, celebrity makeup artist Zulki, who came and he was talking on how people can become makeup artists and stuff like that. So we do do things virtually, because it's 2020. And that's pretty much the only way to do stuff. So we do have, apart from corporate jobs, we do have um, resources of like other non-corporate creative jobs and we will keep doing that. But for now, everything is going to be virtual. We're not doing anything um, in person until we know we're totally in the clear from Corona. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Yeah, um, this is just to um, add up, like, as a question, um, a suggestion that um, Vanessa Blessing raised, like, um, some minutes ago. She was saying that, um, like, you know, um, people, like, you guys are giving out, like, giving, and there are, like, more promises of giving, like, not promises, but, say, but like, in terms of, like, supporting um, us, basically. And then, um, Victor mentioned something about you guys just giving, and you go to talk about something like that. I'm just suggesting that moving forward, moving forward, it, I don't know where it can be, but like this is just a suggestion that moving forward, what if um, I believe you guys are in your intention to support us more, but as a way of us also supporting, um, I mean, we don't know how, so supporting also through you guys is um, for us to also give back to the community. How do we give back to the community? What are like some um, workshop that, we, that can help us build our capacity that would help us also give back to the community in that way it says that okay the Radua Army members are um, doing this in this community like you know like an activation in the community like um, um, going for doing um, talking about plastic waste in the community right. so really as a way of um, you guys giving us a capacity, like building us, like helping us um, um, gain some knowledge about a specific field. And after that, there's an action plan that we have to go into the community and go and do this um, action plan, which we've already had an idea about. Um, um, we already go through um, classes about that. Then we know that, okay, we're going to do this in the community. And so this is also as a way for um, the Radwa company saying that okay this is what the youth are also doing aside you guys giving to you know give, giving people scholarship and the rest i get people, what um hello yeah yeah so aside you guys giving for um scholarship and the rest you know a lay down for us to also know that this is what we have to also do for the community because a lot of people like i've seen great people like you know people have a lot of things but they always forget to give back to their community. And this right. is like a big problem, which is pulling Africa down as a whole, basically. Because people intend to see that, oh, like a lot of people, if you ask a lot of people now, they'll be like, you know, Africa and um, America or somewhere outside Africa is their dream country. And, you know, that, that notion is still there for them, but forgetting that their home country is where it's safe. And, you know, they're building their capacity in a specific field. They can support their own home by doing something in the community, I mean, bit by bit, it can go out to become something. So, 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. And as I said, we have a we have a lot of things planned out. Like I mentioned earlier, we are literally one week old officially registered. So technically, before a week ago, we couldn't do anything official in the country. Like we are, so we have a lot of stuff planned. So you guys will be getting everything that we have planned. But that's a great idea. Thank you, Nano Poku. I want to say something. Okay. Um, wait, can we just see some people that haven't spoken that have their hands up? So Ella, we see your hand is up. Do you have something to say? Yes, please. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. I'm Ella. Hi, Ella. Please, I want to ask. You see the... Is okay. I a new your platform. Your, your connection is pretty good. Hello. Yeah. Oh, well, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear now. I was saying that this army is a platform for everybody. So I wanted to know that, you know, as time goes on, we'll be increasing in numbers, you know. So I, I wanted to suggest that maybe we would have a membership card or maybe yeah every um, all that is being planned out okay. said, yeah we're so so new everything is going to be like every you're going to get membership cards membership numbers you're going to have like your own login for the website and, exactly. and everything you're going to be yeah okay yeah thank you for thinking about that so thank you so we're running out of time that's why it seems like i'm rushing um, but I want to just take a few people that haven't spoken. Michael, Teta, do you want to say something? Um, yes, please. I wanted to say something. Yes. Yeah, so I was, I'm not speaking for everybody, but I was also thinking that like, one of the main reasons why I joined was because I want guidance and sort of mentorship. Mm -hmm. So I'm not speaking for everyone, but I don't think everyone here is actually looking for jobs. Well, yeah. we have to build ourselves before we can be able to like actually do work and like do jobs. So yeah. I believe um, the important thing right now for me, it's like mentorship, guidance, and to make decisions like the career path and everything. Yeah. That's good to know. That's a good thing. So what we're going to be doing right now to figure stuff out is we do a lot of sessions. So many of you just joined recently. I think we got majority of our new members after the Sandra and Kobia video was released. But before that, we had like a social media, um, social media seminar where we had a social media expert come and talk on Zoom about how to let your social media help you with either with jobs or even as a career path on its own. Before that, we had somebody talking about personal branding, how to brand your, per, your like yourself, you know, for whatever you want. So we do a lot of like the mass mentorship. As time goes on, we're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one mentorships. And that's where like the actual business plan comes into um, effect. But you guys will know, like you see, we email you a lot. We will be messaging you on WhatsApp a lot. So you'll be getting all the information. And we have a bunch of updates coming um, next year. So stay tuned for that. So um, Ayuram. So Ayuram, and then after Ayuram, Isaac can go. So Ayuram, can you speak, please? Hi, I'm Ayuram. Um, I'm in level 400, and I'm studying medicine. Oh, nice. What, what university? Medicine. It's Emily Gone. Oh, nice. And I joined because I just wanted to do something. And um, so I'm not looking for a job. So I just wanted to know what kind of activities are in. Like okay. what opportunities are there. All just right. to keep me busy. Eunice, do you have any words for Aram about that? Oh, Eunice is muted. 
Hello? Yeah. Her line kept breaking. So I was even about to ask her what did she say because I didn't... I only yeah, had the part. my network is not the best. <laughs> okay, um, I was asking... Can you Hello? hear me better? No. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. I was asking, like, what kind of activities I could be involved in a job. I just... Okay, this so I, something I, that I, I, think I heard what she said. So, so um, Arams is in level 400 of the mm -hmm. university. She's studying medicine. So she pretty much knows that once everything is done, she's going to be a doctor. So she really doesn't need that much help in um, mm -hmm. the job area. So how can the army support her or what activities can she get into? Oh, okay. So, um, I don't know if, so from, as Nadia has been talking about that before, I don't know when you joined. So at the beginning, there were different sessions and stuff with people. So as she mentioned, Ella, there was one with like, uh, how to brand yourself. There was one with, um, social media, how to use your social media, um, your LinkedIn. Cause I don't know how many people know how much their LinkedIn profile is very like of good use to them. So there are different activities and things. So it's more of like personal branding. It's more of like grooming yourself. It's more of like getting yourself ready for the real world because, um, at the end of the day, if let's say, as she mentioned earlier in Ghana, most of the time, most of the at times and like in school, you know, they teach you you have book smart, but when it comes to presentation, when it comes to like applying things you've learned, we are quiet, we are shy, we don't know what to do. So the army is more or less like to help you in the those areas. So it's not just about oh, we are helping people to get internship or helping people to get jobs or helping people to uh, start a business, but also to also it's more of like also helping you to get those skills that you need in the real world as you start like working, as you start um, presenting things to clients, and yeah. And also, another thing that I want to mention is, like Eunice said, Ghana is very is very book smart. Actually, most of Africa, right? So I like <laughs> like for example, me. I was always supposed to be a lawyer. Like, you know, it's either like you're supposed to be a lawyer or you're a doctor, but I'm not saying that if you want to do medicine, it's a bad thing. Some people actually love it. But also one thing that we want people to be confident and comfortable in is, okay, I know your parents may want you to do science or to do law or whatever, but if you have a passion, like the Gen Z generation, and that's one thing I should have mentioned in the beginning is, you guys, your generation is the craziest generation I have ever experienced in my life. And when I say crazy, I mean it in the best way possible. You guys are the boldest. I'm a millennial and you guys are right behind us, the Gen Z. And you guys cause trouble in the best way possible. Like you don't take any nonsense from anyone. But the thing is, what makes it a little bit difficult in Ghana or in Africa is that even though Gen Zs globally are very quote unquote ballsy, which is like, you know, you're just like, you just do what you want to do. You have like, if you believe in a cause, you go full force, like, you know, they, you, you guys cause trouble. There's a little bit of a conflict in Africa because Africa has a very strong sense of culture and a very strong sense of religion, which is a good thing, but sometimes it might be a little bit stifling. You know, it's like, maybe you know that I want to do this, but mm, the religion or what people will say, or my parents will say this, or my auntie will say this, you know? So we kind of want to break those barriers and let you do stuff. So for example, earlier on in the army days, Eunice had a conversation with John Dumello and he was explaining how, I think, wait, Eunice, did that record? I don't know, that, that's the one that didn't record, but he was yeah, that's the, yeah. how he went, like he was trying to do science and everything and he just went into acting, you know? And sometimes it seems risky because the science and the, the medicine and the law and things like that is assured. Like, you know, when you finish, you're getting a job. But the other ones like acting is shaky because maybe you won't be an act, a good actor, you know? So we kind of want to 
just put into you, like just believe, like just give you a certain sense of confidence of believing in yourself. And I'll share, I'll actually email you guys um, an interview I did with Richie of Lynx. And Richie and I actually went to school together. Richie is one of my really good friends. And he explains how he did science and then he just decided that now nah, I'm going to do music. So, you know, those are kind of like the things. So it's not very one way. And um, mm -hmm. I personally, I'm a very out of the box thinker. Most of the advisors of the Raja Army are out of the box thinkers. You can see um, the video that we did is on our YouTube page with the, the Zoom call that we did with the Army. So if you come to us tomorrow and you're like, yeah, I wanted to do medicine, but I think my passion is really being a filmmaker, we'll figure it out. Like, we'll be like, okay, first of all, are you good? <laughs> because you can't just throw your medicine away and you're not a good filmmaker and all that stuff. So yeah, we can figure, there's a lot to do. And we're going to send you like detailed information of all our plans and everything so that you guys will feel a little bit comfortable with the direction that the army is going. Okay, so one last point, Isaac, because we're past schedule. So Isaac, do you have something to say? Oh, sorry. Um, wait, sorry, let me just answer something before Isaac goes. So Nana Yao Kwansa Chilling <laughs> said that most army members are in Accra. So, and he isn't in Accra. So it will be difficult in the future to do um, stuff like that. One thing that we wanna do is we're going to set up school chapters in every school. We want it to be also like a school club. So 2021, when school starts, we want like, the goal is to have the Raja Army in every elementary school, in every JHS, HS, SHS, university, college, whatever. So eventually, the community is going to grow in every region and we will come out there. Like I, like I will come out there myself to meet everyone. So let's just let COVID go and then we can make plans, but don't worry about not being in Accra. It doesn't really make a difference um, to us either way. Um, okay, so yeah, Isaac, you can go. Yeah, good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, please, I'm Isaac Avia, uh, a student of Code Technical Universities, reading hospitality at level 200 students. Oh, nice. And, yeah. And I like, I, I love what, whatever is going on. Thank you. On Thank this you. platform. And so I look forward, I hope in gaining confidence and then a whole lot. Yeah. It's been fun to you guys. Thank you. Yeah. You and actually, I'm okay perfect and um hospitality that's great because one of the sub companies of the rajwa company is the rajwa experience and we do a lot of hospitality stuff so maybe down the line you can intern with us wow i would love to yeah cool thank you very much thank you too All right. okay so i think Mina. Okay, so we haven't heard from Mina. So we'll take Mina and then we'll wrap it for real this time. Okay. Hello? Yes. Okay, please. My name is Portia Mesa. I graduated from the University of Cape Coast. I okay. finished my national service last two months and I'm looking forward to starting my master's in January, hopefully. So, yeah, I just joined the group recently. So I wanted to introduce myself. Welcome. Thank you. Can I ask you guys a general question? Okay. <laughs> when you, um, I, I, most of you guys want to do your masters. Why? Yeah. What is the reason? Can you tell me, can you, like most of you, can you just go and maybe give me a one sentence why? I'm not saying you shouldn't, I just want to understand why it's such a thing. Oh, okay. So after my okay. service, I've been working for two months with Someone is speaking. Hello? Uh -huh. Hello? Go ahead, yeah. Okay, so after my service, I've been working with an investment company okay. for these two months. And then whilst I finished my service, I bought forms for clinical health. Okay. With the program I read, BS Psychology, if you want to 
do something with it. You have to at least feather either in clinical health, industrial, educational, you have to branch into one major area. So basically, I have to feather in one before I would be able to really do what I want to do. So perhaps I'll be working and schooling at the same time. But so when what, I'm done, what, what is it that you want to do? Okay, I'm, I'm going to be reading clinical health psychology. No, I understand what you're going to be reading. But what is it? What are you going to be using what you are reading for? Okay, I'll be a clinician. Okay. That is, yeah. And that's what but you then, do. Well, currently, I'm, I've not really decided. That is why I'm still working Hi. with the investment bank. I might branch into industrial psychology as time goes. And I've not yet really decided as to which of them I want to do yet. But I'm starting with the clinical health psychology for the time being. And then maybe along the line, I'll still make a decision. So for now, I'm going with the clinical health. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think talking about that. The Can I say something? Because, uh, Eunice is talking. Yeah, I just I was laughing with the whole master's when you mentioned because I realized that most of the times in Ghana, it's like a big deal right after school. Everyone wants to rush to do their master's right after without and then I read and then one thing I've also realized is that when you rush to do your master's especially you know if you've not figured out what you want to do or the path career path you want to take it becomes a little after your master's you still realize that you don't even know what you are doing so then what was the point of going to do your master's right I also think um yeah, we need to go into. I think we have to have a whole separate Zoom <laughs> yeah. because it's a, it's a it's a deep thing because it's so interesting to me. I actually like I I've been studying Gen Zs for the past many years, so I, I'm kind of a quote unquote um, expert on Gen Zs in the states, in Japan, and in Korea. I'm still figuring out African and especially Ghana Gen Zs. Um, the way you guys operate is a little bit different from Gen Zs in other parts of the world. But it's so interesting because in other parts of the world, people are relying less and less on degrees. But I'm degrees, still, yeah. it's the same. Like it's still like the masters and stuff, which I think is okay. I don't, I don't really think there's anything bad with education ever. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is, for example, if you were in America or something, I'd be worried because of like the financial, like the student loans and stuff like that. But in Ghana, if it's free or if it's not that expensive and you're getting a degree that isn't really going to worry you too much, I think that's fine. But um, I just think before you do anything, just really ask yourself why. Like, are you just getting it to have a paper? Does it help or does it hurt? Like, those are the things. All right. So we're... I think we can wrap it up now. So, um, yeah, thank you. Any, any last few? Um, okay, just wanted to just say something about the, uh, what is it, the masters and um, the I, time, but uh, we're struggling. Like, we're so we are running so much out of time. I don't think we, but I think we may have to have a whole separate Zoom on education. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. we were supposed to end 26 minutes ago. But this is oh, the practice room that we've ever had. So I actually really appreciate it. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed this. I hope you got a little bit more information. And we're going to be moving forward. We're going to... Thank you, too. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.